It took me two years from the age of 19 to the age of 21 to make my first $100,000 online. But it wasn't a straight line. I only earned a few thousand dollars in the first 12 months. And it wasn't until I implemented these seven specific habits that I hit my first $100,000 year. Now, some of these habits might not be what you expect. And in fact, they won't be. So my promise to you for this video is that if you stick around and watch the entire thing, you will get at least one habit that will change the game for you and your business. So let's get into it. So the first habit is one of my favorite habits that I do every single day, and it's walking in silence. Now, I know you're likely thinking, how on earth is this going to help me make more money? Well, there's this part of your brain called the default mode network. This is where your brain becomes more active and subconsciously works through problems that you have whenever you're not concentrating on a task. Now, this is actually something we've all experienced before. When? Well, when you get an idea in the shower. That is because of your default mode network. Now, when you combine this default mode network with the open spaces of being outside on a walk, your creativity and subconscious thinking goes through the roof. I guarantee you that a 20 minute walk every single day will give you so many ideas to overcome any problems you're having and make connections to help you get over any roadblock that you're experiencing. And look, I'm all for working hard, putting in the work, but your brain needs rest. And going for something as simple as a 20 minute walk every single day is a perfect way to hit two birds with one stone. And look, every day I note down every single idea I get. And I probably write down about 10 to 20 a day and I guarantee you that 90% of them come to me when I'm walking. I genuinely could not count how many game changing ideas that I've gotten on a walk. The second habit is working out. This is non-negotiable. You need to be working out. Simple. There are far too many benefits that will carry over into your life and your business to not be working out, to not be doing this. You work out, you get into better shape, you have more self-respect, which means you're going to procrastinate less, you're going to be more confident in your decision making, you'll make better decisions and you'll get more done, make more progress. You also have more respect from others. You also have more energy. Therefore, you can work harder, you can work longer, you can work smarter and therefore make more progress in your business and make more money. Now, I started working out a few years ago when I was 17. I competed in the sport of weightlifting. I won a British championship and a few other things. And I genuinely don't think there's been one other habit that has impacted and shaped my life the way working out has. And look, this doesn't have to be complicated, okay? Lift weights four to six times a week, go for a run one to three times a week. Working out is one of them things where if you don't have the discipline and the level of self-respect to challenge your body, improve your physical health for one hour a day, how on earth do you expect to have the discipline necessary to run a business and make money online? You don't, okay? You need to be working out. The third habit is deliberate practice. There's one thing you need to understand about business and that is that great results require a great level of skill. And a great level of skill can only be gotten through deliberate practice, putting in the work to actually try and improve your skill level at whatever you're doing. Whether it's copywriting, Facebook ads, content, coaching, Whatever it is, you need to be practicing and improving your skill level every damn day. It's simple, like to earn $1,000, you need a certain skill level, right? To earn $10,000, you need a higher skill level. To earn $100,000, you need a higher skill level. To earn a million dollars, you need to have an even higher skill level. So you need to dedicate time every single day to improving your skill. Now, obviously how much time you can dedicate to practice really depends on you and your life. You know, if you're a university student with no responsibilities, you can spend basically all day practicing your skill. If you have a nine to five and a family, you can't, okay? You're going to be limited. But in that case, you can just follow my two hour mastery formula, right? So every single day you dedicate one hour to learning the skill, whether it's a course, a book, a YouTube video, whatever it is. And then you dedicate one hour to practicing the skill, implementing what you're learning. And obviously, if you have more than two hours to dedicate to it, dedicate more than two hours and spend more time taking action. Either way, deliberate practice is a necessity. Like you can't expect to earn $100,000 if you've only got a $2,000 skill set. The next habit is meditating. Look, business is stressful. It doesn't matter what level you're at, whether you're trying to sign your first client or you're trying to manage 10 employees. It doesn't really matter. Business is stressful, okay? It's full of ups and downs. And if anybody is telling you that it's not stressful they're just fucking lying to you okay so if you want to succeed in business you need to be able to handle stress and handle a lot of it like however stressful you think your job is right now a business is more stressful every single part of it is up to you every single facet of your business is your responsibility so one of the best ways to learn how to manage stress and manage your emotions better and increase your stress tolerance is meditating now i used to think that like meditating was for like hippies and i was like i'm not meditating i'm not going to do that i'm going to put in the work but anyway now i meditate every single day so it's funny how that works out but i never really feel stressed now that that might actually be the wrong way to put it 
a better way to put it is that stress never gets to me. It never affects my performance. It never affects how I actually feel. I might feel stressed, but it doesn't impact any other area of my life or how I perform or what I do or how I think. And largely I put that down to meditation because it's taught me how to manage my emotions and manage my stress better. So start with three minutes of guided meditation. There's plenty of like free resources on YouTube for you to use and then build up to at least 10 minutes of meditation every single day. This can be guided or it can be non-guided it doesn't really matter but just build up to 10 minutes of meditation every day next is investing in yourself look everyone wants to talk about you know passive income and investing in the s p 500 or investing in fucking tesla or or crypto or whatever right but look there's absolutely no point in you investing the 100 dollars that you can afford every single month into the stock market or into crypto just to get a bloody 10% return, okay? It's pointless. And look, I have a finance degree. I went to university and studied finance and the stock market and investments, okay? I'm telling you it's stupid until you have a lot of money, okay? Investing is great when you have money. When you don't have money, it's pointless. You need to be investing in yourself or as Alex Ramosi says, investing in the s and 500. Now, I made this mistake for such a long time, right? I had an incredibly low income. I was investing everything I could afford. So whether it's $50 this month, $300 the next month, $100, whatever it was, I was investing it into the S&P 500, into the stock market. I'm making, you know, a few hundred dollars a year. And that wasn't even cash in the pocket. That was capital gains in the portfolio. But my income, the cash I had in my pocket, the cash I was able to use to invest was going nowhere, wasn't increasing. And then, you know, I decided to start investing in courses and coaching and my income shot up. Look, think about it this way. If you could spend $1,000 to learn how to make $10,000 every single month, you would do it, right? Well, then why aren't you doing it? Because here's the thing, if you aren't where you want to be, you need to improve two things, your knowledge and your actions. And you improve your knowledge by investing in yourself, buying books, taking courses, hiring coaches or mentors, but don't do this stupidly, okay? Investing in random things, which I did when I started buying courses and investing in myself is a bit stupid, okay? You end up wasting a ton of money. Instead, figure out what problem you have that is stopping you from getting to where you want to go. And then find a course, find a book, find a mentor or a coach that can help you solve that problem. Now, the sixth habit is to craft and use an alter ego. Now, I've always been fascinated by people who can just switch it on. You know, whether they're on stage, whether they're on the court, whether they're on the pitch, they're all in. They're basically a different person and it's clear that they have an alter ego. Now, your alter ego is just a different version of you, okay? It's not a fake version. It's not like a fake version of you. It's just a different version where you're accentuating and highlighting the key characteristics of you that will benefit you in that situation. It is a version of you where all its characteristics are designed to help you perform, to help you do the best work that you can do. Like the most popular and famous example of this is probably Kobe Bryant who had Black Mamba. When it was time to play a game, he turned on his alter ego and he was in the zone. Now don't get me wrong, this version of you isn't a dickhead, it's not rude, it doesn't belittle other people. You never want to be a dickhead, you never want to be a bad person. It is simply the version of you that doesn't procrastinate, that doesn't get distracted, that is laser focused, that works hard and is able to get the work done. You need to craft this version of you so that when it's time to work, when it's game time, you can switch it on. This alter ego comes out and you become a workhorse. Next is creating. Now, this was one of the biggest game changing habits for me. I started creating content around three years ago and I've built my audience to over half a million people across multiple platforms. And I've built a six figure business that I run in two to four hours a day off the back of it. And whatever you're doing in life, whether you know, you're just trying to go to the gym and put on some muscle, whether you're trying to build a business or whatever else, you need to be creating content around it and sharing your journey, sharing the lessons that you learn. Now you might be thinking, you know, why do I need to do that? Well, I want you to think about two things, okay? One is that the world is moving online. People are spending more and more time online. They're buying more and more things from companies that are solely based online. And people are buying from the people that they know, like, and trust. That is the creators whose content they consume. So if you create content around your life, around what you're doing, around the lessons that you learn, you're able to build a business and a brand that is entirely based on your own interests, your own passions, that allows you to build a life you love through the autonomy and freedom that a creator business provides. And two, you already have a personal brand. 
right? Everybody has a personal brand, okay? Because everybody's on social media. It's just that some people are using it solely for consumption and to no benefit of themselves. And other people are using it to share value with the world, make an impact and build a business. Which category you fall into is really up to you. And you know what? Here's an eight bonus habit to help you make your first 100K online. Do the work, simple. Nothing replaces doing the work. You know, you can do all of these habits, right? But if you're not doing the actual revenue generating activities for your business, you're never going to make money. So do the work, right? Build these seven habits that will help benefit you and help improve the capabilities and the amount of work you can do and the quality of the work you can do and therefore the progress you make and the money you make, but do the damn work. Now, if you actually don't know what you want to do to make your first 100K online, check out this video here where I go over some of the best high income skills that you can learn. So my friend, thank you for watching. That is it for this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Check out this video here and I will see you in the next one.